Historians have been one of the key contributors to the making of this game, aiming to accurately reproduce ancient Egypt at the time of Cleopatra's rule, a visual representation of the digital world rather than just using textbooks. Egypt as a whole was created and 75 tours are included in this mode of the game, with audio sections which very much creates the feel of a digital museum. The Discovery Tour teaches history as well as critical thinking through the use of its audio and artefact pieces used at each stop on the tour and is available as a standalone update on the PC version of the game. As this mode is still relatively new, accounts of it being adopted by schools have been sparse, especially in mainstream schools. However, there is great opportunity to employ experiential learning pedagogies through utilising this type of simulation to experience history first hand. This game mode invites critical thinking when one considers that it is one reproduction of ancient Egypt, based on science but also based on our own perception of how we think ancient Egypt was, and adaptation to history, which are concepts that a teacher will be able to introduce to pupils. Through using the digital environment, pupils are able to directly experience ancient Egypt in a way that is impossible using a textbook, which will likely increase pupil engagement with the material and allow the teacher to become a facilitator rather than an instructor. The of the tombs revealed that the bodies of the deceased were deposited in a shallow grave, in a fetal position. Though a few objects were recovered from these graves, they offered no insight as to the social class of those interred within.